Understanding diction is essential to doing well on the AP English language exam. Sure. Diction in the literal sense may simply be the distinctive vocabulary choices and style of expression that an author or speaker uses. But truthfully, there are layers and stages to what diction is and how good writers use it. Diction affects the tone and complexity of a text. It can make a text formal and elevated or informal and casual. It can make it strong or weak. And diction can even identify the speaker. Shakespeare comes to mind. If you can learn to speak intelligently about the author's use of diction, then you can own this test. Let's use Marco to show how diction can completely change a sentence without changing the meaning at all. Marco enjoys walks in the park and naps in the sun. Simple diction, informal voice, and weak word choice. Marco adores walks in the park and sun-soaked rests. We're beginning to elevate the diction here. It means the same thing, but showcases a stronger vocabulary. Marco fancies jaunts about the plaza and bathing in both sun and slumber. Now we have more complex diction, formal voice and strong words that evoke strong visuals, but the meaning is still exactly the same. The point is you can change the diction and really change everything about a text. Comedians don't just tell funny stories. They choose funny words to tell them. Writers won't just tell a sad story. They paint sorrow and agony with every word of a tragedy. Your favorite TV drama? The writers fold in climactic and sensational dialogue to set the scene. The sooner that you can recognize the intentional word choice of the speaker or writer, the sharper your skills will become. And soon you will be writing the free response essays with ease.